Hey everyone, can't believe it's the end of 2023. Uh, it's been such an awesome year and I hope everyone's having a great holiday season. If you're working, I hope you get some time off soon and get some time to spend with family and friends. Um, I've put together a little bit of a highlight clip for the year uh, of the things that were completed and yeah, a few things that were not completed like my Velociraptor uh, replica <laughs> that will have to be done next year. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed these clips. Probably the most significant thing I did this year is re-enrolling in university. I enrolled at the University of Canterbury in the Bachelor of Science program, in majoring in biology and geology, as paleontology is kind of a mix of biology and geology. You have to know how the animal animals work, how ecology works, and you also need to know how you know how they got into the rock. Some universities actually offer an undergrad degree in paleontology, uh, not over here where I am. I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel, I know I've talked about it on my Patreon channel, but my day job is a software engineer, so I've been doing that for the last 20 years, and I did my Bachelor of Commerce in 2003. Well, I started in 2003, I didn't finish it. <laughs> I did my majors, but never finished the economics part of it um, because the band I was in started touring uh, yeah, around South Africa. So this was really cool going back into university and I passed everything in my first year. So that's much better than the first time I went to university. One of the things I finished this year are these fossil cars. So when I do school visits to talk about fossils from the local area, um, I wanted to leave something there. And there was nothing really about New Zealand fossils, so I made this little card game where you use the stats on each card. You divide the cards in two basically and use the stats to see if you can beat the other player. So if I try a rarity nine, it will beat a rarity one and so on 
and there are 30 different cards in here. That's the new tropic bird that has been discovered. The Tuatara, the giant penguin, 165 kilograms. <laughs> the turtle skull, uh, that crab I prepped, the 200 hour crab. The trilobite, still haven't found a New Zealand trilobite. Jones, Joan Whiffin's theropod, <laughs> Squawkzilla, that giant parrot, a one meter, seven kilogram parrot, <laughs> some fold and mar, um, spiders, the titanosaur. Some of these dinosaurs are only known from a fragment of bone. Pterosaur, plesiosaur, uh, one of the other large penguins. The bony tooth bird that I spent so much time editing and then found one. One of the moa. The dolphin, the tusk dolphin. Uh, this was from Marlenique, did the artwork on that. The mystery mammal, cutest little mystery mammal. Moanosaurus, one of the big um, mosasaurs. The monk seal. The Meg, oh, I still haven't found a Megalodon tooth. Maybe 2024 will be the year. Uh, Mannering's penguin, the oldest penguin. Very, very early form of penguin found by Al Mannering. Ichthyosaur. Uh, the shark eye. Uh, shark tooth I found that has just been published. The Harst Eagle. The Eastern Moa. Beautiful. Beautiful artwork here by Dana Franklin. The New Zealand crocodile. One of the frogs from near here. Also would love to find some frog bones. The bullfish from that skull I found. The bat. Pekka Pekka. <laughs> the tree. And then a few things to remember when you're looking for fossils. How to play and a little bit about my channel. So I leave these at the schools when I visit them but also send them out to my patrons. <laughs> so a shameless plug for my Patreon channel. Well, here's the progress on that Pelicornis or Pelicanithid beak. Look at those teeth. <laughs> that tooth over there is huge and so sharp. They're a lot sharper than I thought they would be. Unfortunately, over here at the back, it's all broken apart and a little bit crushed, I think. Um, this crack going through here probably has something to do with the uh, weak preservation or the really poor preservation over there. I don't know if it's leached out some of the bone. But yeah, otherwise it's, it's looking pretty good. There's one more bone down here um, and I've removed about six kilograms of rock so far. Uh, so yeah, over 10% of this rock is gone now. I'm going to keep prepping this. Um, I want to see what that bone is that's down here. Um, see if it's a wing bone or even one of the leg bones in there. <laughs> yeah, such a cool fossil this. <laughs> you just zoom in on those teeth. Have a look at that. There's even some really tiny ones in there that I still need to expose a little bit more. And here's my Velociraptor. I was hoping to have it done this year. Uh, most of the printing's done. I think actually all the printing's done. And I've put together some of it. Uh, the wire I've got here is not strong enough to hold it um, upright. So I need to find some thicker wire for that. The skull came out pretty well. I've actually used a resin printer for the teeth. So the teeth are super detailed and sharp. And then a, a filament printer for the rest of the bones. It 
looking back there was actually quite a lot of things that happened uh, during this year uh, really looking forward to getting back to university starting year two for geology and biology finding it really interesting and it's very practical so that's kind of what I enjoy uh, with a fair amount of uh, really interesting theory I want to say a huge thanks to all my Patreons. You're the reason that I can do the studies. Um, it's quite expensive. It's about $1,000 per semester per subject. I think I spent about $8,000 this year. And that's all from the Patreon. So thank you so much for that. And also to all the paleontologists and experts that I can uh, ask silly questions of and use that information in my videos. It might look like all the information is coming from me. It's definitely not coming from me. Um, I know what I know because I've been asking questions of the experts. And of course, everyone that's watching the videos, I really appreciate you. Uh, everyone that gives it a thumbs up and comments and, you know, just so supportive. I think my comments are like the most supportive comments of any YouTube channel out there. Huge thank you for that. And I'm very excited for 2024. Is it going to be the year where we find an actual proper dinosaur? <sighs> That'd be so amazing. I think there's only been three or four found in New Zealand and all in the North Island. So hopefully 2024 is the year of the dinosaur. Stay safe everyone, I'll see you next year. We got some mail, yeah, some Christmas mail. This is from Adam. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> Christmas card. Some rocks, fossils, sub fossils, and 3D printing. Very cool. Thanks so much, Adam. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's, yeah, that's resin printing. Look at the detail on that. That's my large crab. There's so much detail in there. Oh, that's my plesiosaur vertebra. Oh, that's so detailed. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera, but it's got all the little the little features of it. It's even got those two holes at the bottom. That's beautiful. That's a jasper. Two sides of a jasper. With some veins going through it. Maybe some chalcedony veins. Yeah, they're actually agatized. You can see they've got banding in them. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's some beautiful petrified wood. And polished so well. <laughs> it's like a mirror finish. And you can see the... the growth lines in it. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Some crystals up there. I'm not sure what this is. Lots of crystals over there. And over there. Is it sedimentary? I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. Tiny bits of fossil crab. Oh, look at that shell there. There's a beautiful shell in the middle. It's got like a blue color to it, but that's a tiny crab. A tiny crab over there. A few bits of crab there. That's beautiful. I think these are um, other Pleistocene or Holocene. So very young, a very young fossil. Ooh, beautiful agate. It's got some nice water lines in there. So many cool presents. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. What is that? This is some fossil algae. I don't know, but it's beautiful. Look at that got all those patterns. I've got no idea what this is. I just know I really like it. 
What a cool package to get on Christmas Day. Thanks Adam, this has really blown me away.